Good morning, I'm Jasmine Anderson. A Freeport man is due in court today accused of torching a home while a couple was sleeping inside. Police say John Cordian set fire to the front door of the Rockville Center home and two cars yesterday. The couple looked outside and saw their Porsche and Dodge in flames in the driveway. No one was hurt. Police did not say whether Cordian knew the residents of the home. A hunt right now for the group of attackers who seriously injured two men walking in Huntington Station. The victims, ages 30 and 37, were attacked by the group of men just before midnight Monday on New York Avenue at Pulaski Road. The two men were treated at the hospital. New developments in the case involving Blue Point's Gabby Petito. New court filings say that Brian Laundrie told his parents that Petito was, quote, gone and that he needed a lawyer. This was before authorities found the 22-year-old's body. These allegations come from Petito's parents who are suing Laundrie's parents. After years of debate, congestion pricing for drivers in Manhattan could become a reality soon. The rest of America will realize that we are fighting to save our planet, we're fighting to save our kids, we're fighting for our writers, and we are fighting for the greatest city on the planet, the city of New York. The MTA is set to vote on the plan today. Cars entering Manhattan south of 60th Street would pay $15. Trucks would pay between $24 and $36. The governor says the plan will generate a billion dollars for transit improvements. First to news day, the $2 billion South Fork wind farm has begun sending power to Long Island Grid. The first of 12 turbines started generating power on November 30th and has been sending it to a LIPA substation in East Hampton. The other 11 turbines off Montauk near Rhode Island are expected to begin sending power in the coming weeks. Another step forward for the proposed $4 billion casino in Nassau. Yesterday, the Hempstead Town Board unanimously voted to forge ahead with an environmental review of the Nassau Coliseum plan. That's despite a legal battle over whether county lawmakers improperly struck a deal with developer Las Vegas Sands. The date is set for the special election to fill George Santos's vacant congressional seat. Governor Kathy Hochul says vote. it will be held on Simply February 13th. Santos was expelled from Congress last week after a House chamber. ethics report it accused him of defrauding campaign donors direction. for his own profit. Thousands of Long Island Catholics flocked to churches to see a relic of St. Jude. It was an emotional scene here at St. Patrick's Church in Huntington yesterday. This was the last stop on Long Island for the piece of the bone from the arm of the apostle. St. Jude is the patron saint of lost causes and desperate situations. There's many people that come because they find themselves in impossible situations. It could be a health situation, a job situation, a family situation, and they're looking for that intercession and that individual that could just help them with their prayer. The relic is making a tour of Catholic churches throughout the United States. Sports now. The Knicks have been eliminated from the in-season tournament. Lopez thinking, three maneuvering, driving, scooping, scoring. The Knicks were knocked out in the quarterfinals last night in Milwaukee. Their defense couldn't stop down the Bucks, who won 146 to 122. The Yankees have acquired outfielder Alex Verdugo from the Red. Long Island weather is brought to you by Home Tax Saver, PTRC Incorporated. The Mets star closer is set to return to the mound after a devastating injury. Laura Albanese just spoke to Edwin Diaz in his home of Puerto Rico. It's a story you'll see only in Newsday. Edwin Diaz grew up playing in this field in the Guabo, a fishing town in Puerto Rico that was destroyed by Hurricane Maria. With spring training around the corner, he came back to give out equipment to a bunch of little league teams. In addition to that, he's been rehabbing, and he says he's going to be 100% come spring training. I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff. Like, I, feel, I feel really good. Um, I, will, I will be ready for spring training. Um, right now, I'm running. I'm doing everything, and I feel really happy about my recovery. Sí, él se propuso una meta. Diaz suffered a devastating knee injury while playing for Team Puerto Rico in the World Baseball Classic last offseason. And no one really knew when or how he'd come back. But his dad said in Spanish that Edwin's goal was to be ready if the Mets needed him in September and postseason. And it looks like he would have been, which is definitely good news for this upcoming spring training. In four months, I was almost ready to go. You know, 
we, we slow it down as, as when we see the team that don't go in to make the playoff. In his hometown, Edwin is known as a hero who gives back to others. And he was actually doing that today by giving equipment to kids with the help of the amazing Mets Foundation. When he does this, though, he says that what he's doing is actually paying it forward. When I was growing up, my mom did a lot of activity to, to, to get money to, to pay our flights and all the our, our team to play baseball and mm -hmm. the community help us a lot. His grandma, great aunts and parents all still live close by and he's got two murals dedicated to him and his brother. Uh, that would be Alexis who plays for the Reds. Edwin also helped the town recover from Hurricane Maria in 2017, helping bring electricity back to the area. I made my dream come true because I knew all these people was watching me, so I want to have a good, a good debut to, to show them that like, everything paid off. This has been Laura Albanese reporting from Puerto Rico for Newsday TV. Read more about Diaz's rehab on Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. An evening of music and conversation with singer-songwriter Mike Del Judas. He gave us an exclusive sneak peek of his new songs at his album release party at our Newsday studios. Elisa DiStefano has a story you'll see only in Newsday. Another sold-out event. Yeah. And this time it's all about your original music. I'm excited. I'm okay. very excited. All right, let's I hope do they're it. ready. Mike Del Judas was back for another Newsday Live event, an album release party. When I get home, you got that smile on your face. So honored to have you debut your new album, Mass Production, here with us. Yes, special. It was a special last time, so uh, not a better place to do it. You know you're my best friend. Mike performed in Newsday's state-of-the-art multimedia space here at our headquarters. What does it take to put an album like this together? It, it took a while, man. It, it, it did. And uh, then COVID happened, so everything, that's when I said, you know what, there's a lot of time we're going to have here, so why not go in? And hence the uh, mask production, because we were all in the studio wearing masks. My lyric writing has become so literal and very, very truthful about my life and the things that I go through that it's, you're kind of putting your diary out to the world. And this is about as real me lyrically as you can get. And it's probably the most um, into a project that I've ever been that I've done originally. Uh, there's so much of my heart in this and so much uh, of my family life. He brought his son up on stage and was joined by band members for impromptu performances, all met with audience applause. So now you're releasing it to yes. your fans here on yes. Long Island and to the world. What's that yeah. like for you? It's terrifying, <laughs> you know? It's absolutely terrifying. You know, it's, it's easy when you're on stage and you're playing songs that everybody knows because you know they're gonna like them, you know? And it's the, the old question in your head always is, is like, are they going to like what I do? There ain't no place I call. Elisa DiStefano, Newsday TV. You can watch the entire event tonight and read more about Mike Del Judas on Newsday.com. Just click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Get in the game with Newsday. The best team of sports reporters and columnists bring you in-depth analysis, behind-the-scenes stories, and news from inside the locker room. Get in the game when you subscribe to Newsday, your destination for total sports coverage at newsday.com slash sports. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave you with a look at your hyperlocal seven-day forecast.